Yes. All of this has been an act. I have been acting. I have been an actor. Since the very beginning. Further back than you guys probably realize. When I made the first videos, my enlightenment videos on my main channel. That was acting. When I made the goodbye video. That was acting. When I made every video on this channel, Connor Murphy Talks, that was acting. You will find that through this entire process, in fact, any time that you have seen me on the internet, I have not been myself. Now, why have I not been myself? Well, I will tell you, there is no self. The self is an illusion. Now, I will tell you how the self is an illusion. But first, I would like to explain how, if there is no self, what is there to do but act? You'll find that there has been an important message that I've been attempting to portray throughout many of my videos. Acting is not the falsehood. Acting is the reality, not just for me, but for everyone. Does that mean that there haven't been some incredible truths in these videos that I've been putting out? No. Not at all. But I certainly haven't been acting myself. So what is the self? Well, I've talked about this in previous videos. But we have this idea that the, we are this temporary piece of meat in existence. Now within this meat, we have our mind. We have thoughts. We have ideologies. We have beliefs. We have behaviors. And we think that this is us. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. You'll find that these beliefs, these ideologies, these behaviors, everything that you think makes you you, is impermanent. It changes. Think about it. You have different beliefs every few years. If you're open-minded, you might have different beliefs every few days. You act in a different way. All of these things have changed. And remember, we call these your beliefs, your ideologies, your behaviors. If they are yours, well, who is the entity which owns them? If they are yours, they can't be you. You'll find that our life is just a series of acting moments. You'll find that you're a different person. You're a different actor depending on who you interact with. If you're by yourself, you are a different you. If you interact with your friends, you're a different you. When you interact with a girl, you're a different you. You put on this different act depending on your situation. You're a chameleon of sorts. When you interact with a girl, you probably feel uncomfortable. You have different thoughts, you have different feelings, you have different behaviors. If you're by yourself, maybe you feel more comfortable. And maybe you think different thoughts. Maybe you have different behaviors. So if all these behaviors and actions and thoughts are changing, yet you classify all these things as you, then who is really you? You'll see that this idea that we have of the self simply does not exist. We are simply acting at all times. Acting is not the falsehood. It is the reality. Now, this is an incredibly powerful idea. Because once you realize this, it can bring freedom. The self 
the ego is the cause of all suffering. And if you can see past it, you can break free. You can realize that you can express absolutely whatever you want. You can see this in my past videos. Sometimes I want to be crazy. Sometimes I want to be calm. I get to express whatever is on my mind. It's complete freedom. Expression is the opposite of depression. When you are depressed, you are simply limited by your mind, by this idea of the self, societal constructs, how you should behave, your thoughts. Depression is not expressing what you want to express. And you'll find that when you can break free of the self, amazing things happen. There can be no more depression. You get to express whatever you want. You can become the ultimate actor. This is how Jim Carrey was awakened. You guys should look up Jim Carrey Awakening because he is someone who has found the truth and he is teaching people. It is incredible. Jim Carrey didn't get there through meditation. Maybe he did a little bit. I don't know his entire life story. But he didn't get there through science like I did. I got there through a combination of a couple different things. Meditation, spiritual practice, and some science. The help of some, you know, gamma waves, binaural beats. Different things that I really looked into the scientific aspect of. But Jim Carrey was awakened simply through acting. So what happened to Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey is one of the best actors in the world. He is a method actor. This means that he just doesn't act the part. He becomes the part. He completely throws himself into the role. He feels the character. He'll be on set and he will never get out of character. He is that into the role. Now what happens when you do this? Well, you become the character. He became so many characters to the deepest level. During those times, he was that character more than he was Jim Carrey. All of a sudden, he started to realize that he's not Jim Carrey. How could he be Jim Carrey? When he got into this character so hardcore that he felt like he was that character, he started to realize that the idea of the self is just a bunch of thought that is impermanent, transitory. It is not there forever. And this is how he became awakened. He started to realize that he couldn't be the self. He was anything that he wanted to be. And that's how he woke up. He had this amazing realization. He said to himself, wait a minute, who is it that is aware that I am thinking? Because there was a part of him that knew that he was experiencing these different characters. But then there was a part of him that got completely engulfed in these characters. So who was that second him that realized that he was thinking about this? And then it started to happen. He started to become awakened. He realized that he wasn't a fragment of the universe, that he was the universe that was just experiencing this body and these thoughts, this mind that you guys think of as Jim Carrey. So you'll find that acting can be this incredible technique to become awakened, to realize the truth. You should try it. You will find that if you just practice your acting, any character that you want, pick your favorite character and act as that character. Forget yourself. Be that character. You can just do it by yourself if you want to. You will all of a sudden notice when you get deep enough into the character that all of the negative emotions, all the negative thought of yourself goes away. You'll realize that that negative thought and that, that negative emotion was illusory. It simply didn't exist. It was a psychological construct that you've put in your brain. We don't have to suffer. Mental suffering does not 
have to exist. We just have to get to this higher level state of consciousness. And one of the ways to do that is through practicing acting. When you practice acting enough, you will realize that acting is not the falsehood. Acting is the reality. So I hope this helped you guys. I hope this makes you want to go and practice your acting. Be whoever you want. Express your- Damn, my camera died. I was so close to getting that entire video in one take. But as you know, I am an actor. And sometimes things take more than one take. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope this makes you realize that you are so much more than just this psychological concept of the self. And I encourage you to go look up Jim Carrey's story because he is teaching exactly what I'm teaching you. You'll find that everyone that has witnessed and experienced the truth and then came to this amazing realization, they've all came to the same realization. They've all experienced the same thing because it is truth. It truly is. So I encourage you to go look up Jim Carrey's story. Just type in Jim Carrey Awakening. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And congratulations, you just watching the video means that you are on the path and you will get there. It is inevitable. The world is in the process of waking up and I'm glad to be experiencing it with you. So I love you guys. Peace.